everybody it's me Sam again and I am going to show you in today's tutorial how to make this lovely clip cushion so lots of names have been suggested for it Mr Clippy was my favorite so we're going to make this lovely clip cushion where you can keep your clips on and it stays nice and still while you take your clips on and off because it's weighted inside um, so what you need to weight it inside is anything that's heavy. So you could use rice if you wanted to. What I prefer to use is this stuff, which is aquarium gravel. Now, if you want to, you can just pour the aquarium gravel into your cushion when you've made it. A little, little tip is to pop it inside a bag first so if you've got little organza bags i've got hundreds of these lying around use one of those or you could just wrap it um in a little piece of muslin or cotton um and then pop it inside and it just helps it just helps um with keeping it all together so what you want to do is you want to pour your gravel into your bag or to into your parcel but you need to make sure that you measure it and you measure that it's no longer, no, no wider than two inches. So you can fit it into your two inch, two and a half inch turning gap at the end. So you'll need to do that. So you'll need a bag of something heavy, rice or aquarium gravel. You'll need some scraps. You'll need a rotary cutter and a ruler. Um, you'll need a pokey tool, your favourite pokey tool, and you'll also need your iron. So to make your clip holder, you're going to need one piece of five by five inches square, two pieces of two by five inches, four pieces one by five inches, and five pieces of two by four inches. So what you'll need to do is we're going to just get rid of those pieces for now and we're going to concentrate on these pieces these are the flaps that your clips will clip onto okay and to make those what you need to do is you need to get yourself the iron i'm just going to bring in my ironing mat here and then you need to get your flap pieces and you need to fold them in half along the long edges right sides together and give them a good old press so you're going to need to just press them in so once you've done that for all of them then you need to go to the sewing machine now all of the seam allowance for this make is quarter of an inch seam so you're going to do quarter of an inch seam on on all of your seams so you're going to do a quarter of an inch down here and a quarter of an inch down here so you're going to leave this bit open so you're just going to sew down the ends and you're going to do that for all of these pieces so you're just going to sew down the ends and then that will give you the flaps for your clip holder okay so once you've sewn these flaps down the side what you need to do is you need to turn it out Easier said than done. There you go. On the edge. Turn it out. And then using your favourite pokey tool, mine are these long arm tweezers. I love these. I use these for everything. And then just pop out your corners. Now you don't need to worry about these raw edges because they are going to be sewn into the seam of your clip holder. So you don't need to worry about those. But I would give them all a good press so you do that for one two three four five of the clip flaps and then the clips these actually clip on so the next thing that you need is that you need your one of your long pieces so two inches by five inches and what you're going to do is you're going to place your flap in between in the middle of your long piece so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get rid of this 
wall mat and I'm going to put it back I'm going to put center it on my board and then I can easily put that in the center there and then what you need to do is get one of your smaller the one inch by five inches and pop it right sides down on top okay so you've got your big piece then you've got your flap and then you've got your little piece and then you're going to use your clips and you're going to clip that together and then you're going to sew with your quarter inch seam all the way down meet you back here okay so i've sewn it together so now you can see now that your flap is secured in between the front and the middle pieces okay so what we're going to do now is basically the same again and again and again on all of the pieces now if you want to for a slightly neater finish each time you do the next layer just give it a little press and then put your next layer on so what you're going to do is you're going to put your next flap and then your next short piece clip and sew and you're going to keep doing that until you've got all of your flaps sewn in okay so i've done that now with four of my flaps so i you should you should only have left one flap one larger piece and then your bottom piece so what you need to do is to sew in the last flap you need to exactly the same as you did before lay that flat lay the longer piece over the top sew along here quarter of inch seam and I'll meet you back here in a sec okay so that's all sewn together now so on the back it will look like that and on the front it will look like that and if you if you pull it you can see now that once you've stuffed it these will stand up and these where, where your clips will go on to but we don't really want them to stand up yet but you can see what it will look like once it's all together okay so what you need to do now is you need to put the top piece on so you're going to put right sides together now as you can see now the the bottom piece is a little bit bigger than the top piece you haven't done anything wrong that's absolutely fine um it just means that i've been a little bit scant with my seams which is which is absolutely fine so what you want to do is just pop it in the middle and then you'll trim off this edge if you want to and then quarter of an inch seam all the way around you're going to sew all the way around but you need to leave a gap for turning so you will want to leave your gap in one of the end pieces so you don't want to leave it on this these pieces the side pieces you want to leave it on one of your end pieces so what I suggest that you do is you start sewing here sew along quarter of an inch seam down long up stop here back stitch and then leave a gap of about two and a half three inches for turning okay so i've sewn all around the edges and i've left a gap for turning what you want to do now is you just want to carefully clip your corners trim off any extra bits just to make your seams a bit neater so it should look like this on the back and then turn it through da, 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 da. moment of truth all the flaps in place and all sewn down <laughs> and then you can get your good old pokey tool in there poke out your corners and there you go so you're almost finished now so what you want to do is you'll want to fold in your edges there 
and then give them a bit of a press. What you're going to do is you're going to stuff, starting with the toy filler. Now what I like to do is I like to break it up a little bit and use little bits at a time. So just do, this can take a bit of time, but believe me, with practice, um, you actually get a bit of finish if you take a little bit of time over it and make sure that you stuff it nice and carefully, making sure you're gonna get into all of the corners. Now what you want to do is you want to stuff with the toy stuffing up until about halfway, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit less. It's amazing how much toy stuffing you can fit in a tiny little five inch square. I always think it's amazing. It seems to go on and on and on. Okay, so that's about halfway. And then that's when you want to get your little bag I showed you earlier, your little bag. Now, if you haven't used an organza bag or if you've just got something tied up with ribbon or string, whatever, a little bag of rice or aquarium gravel and pop it inside. So, and this is why you need to have left at least a two and a half inch gap, otherwise your aquarium gravel won't fit in. So you will pop that in and then you're going to stuff the rest with the toy filling until it's all filled up, okay? Okay, so I've stuffed my aquarium gravel right in the middle and then I've made sure that there's toy stuffing on the top and the side all the way around. And then you've got this gap here. And then what you need to do is grab yourself a couple of clips, clip this bit together, and then hand sew with a whip stitch or a ladder stitch, whichever you feel more comfortable doing, along that edge. And then you should find that your clips flaps then stand up ready for your clips. Okay, so once you've sewn that up there, you'll be done. Okay, so as you can see, I've hand stitched the edge there. And then all you need to do now is pop on your clips. And you can get about eight clips on each flap. And there's five flaps, so eight fives are 40. So about 40 clips will fit on. But I'll just put a few on so you can see. And there you have it. A lovely clip holder. And it will stay wherever you put it because you've weighted it in the bottom. So it's great. So it won't move around when you're clipping your clips on. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial.